guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing some fall decorating. I don't know about you guys, but I am so excited for fall. I pretty much love everything about fall. I love the cooler weather. I love all of the gorgeous leaves on the trees and all of the fall decor. So today you guys are going to be doing some decorating with me. I just went into my attic and I got a bunch of my fall decor out. So if I sound a little bit out of breath, that is why, because that is definitely a job getting all of the decor out of my attic. So I think I'm going to start out by decorating in my kitchen. I am going to work on my coffee slash hot cocoa station. In the fall and the winter, I always love having a cute little coffee or a hot cocoa station set up in my kitchen. I just think it looks so cozy and cute. So I think I am going to start out by working on that. Also, before I get started in decorating, I wanted to quickly show you guys how I store some of my decor because I get a lot of questions asking how I store everything. So I love using these storage totes right here. The ones on the left are by the brand Sterilite and you can buy these pretty much anywhere. They have Matt Meyer, Walmart, Home Depot, you can get them pretty much anywhere and they're very inexpensive. I also love these bigger totes right here, the black one with the yellow lid. These are so amazing. They store so much stuff. I picked these up a while ago from Menards when they were on sale for super cheap. I believe they also sell these at Walmart, but I just love them because like I said, they hold a ton of stuff. So what I like to do for the different holidays is I like to have them color coordinated. So for example, I like to keep all of my fall decor in the totes that are orange and black and black and yellow. That way when I go into my attic, I know right away that that is going to be fall decor and I don't have to hunt around for stuff. And then for Halloween decor, I have the black and purple ones and Christmas are red and green. It just makes it so much easier when I go into my attic and I can just see the ones that I want and grab them. And then for storing bigger things like this pumpkin right here, instead of trying to fit it into a tub because it would basically take up all of the room in the tub, I'll just stick this in a big black garbage bag so no dust or anything like that gets on it. All right guys, so the first thing that I like to do before I get started is light a candle. I just feel like that really sets the mood and kind of puts me in a decorating mood. So this one here is Autumn Leaves. I recently picked this one up from TJ Maxx. I thought the packaging on this one was super gorgeous and it smells amazing. Also, I thought that this cutting board needed something so I decided to add a pumpkin just to give it a little pop of color. So that is what it looks like. I just think it looks nice. I like usually having a candle and a pumpkin sitting on this cutting board on my stove in the fall. All right, time to start decorating. So like I said, I think we're gonna start out working on my hot cocoa slash coffee station. So normally when I don't have a coffee station set up, I just have my Keurig over here in the corner just kind of keeping it simple. But when I do a hot cocoa or a coffee station, I like to move my Keurig over here next to my fridge because there is so much more room that I have to work with and I don't want it to be all cluttered. Also you guys, I went to Bath and Body Works the other day and they have some amazing stuff out right now. I'll show you guys a haul a little bit later after I do some decorating. All right, so I've got my Keurig moved over here and then I'm going to be using this little stand here. I found this stand back, I think around Easter at Hobby Lobby. This is what it looks like. It's just a cute, small, little rustic stand. This one is not very big at all. And it used to have a little metal piece on the bottom, but I just took that off. And then I added some like little rubber feet on the bottom. I just thought it looked nicer like this. So basically what I like to do when I start decorating is I usually just set everything over here on the counter that I plan on using in this space and then anything that I don't use I'll just remove later. So I think I'm going to be using my Moscow Mule mugs and my little tiered stand. These look so nice with the rustic wood. I actually used these last year in my fall coffee station and I thought that they looked really nice. They just go really good with this rustic wood. So that is what they look like. I think they look so good on this little stand. And then I also plan on adding some of these little pumpkins in the top, but honestly, I'm not sure which pumpkin I liked better. I don't know if I wanna use this little natural looking white one or the orange one with the glitter stem or the white one with the glitter stem. So normally I'll just try all of them out and see what I like best, but I just kind of sped through that and I decided to use this little white kind of natural looking one, which I found at Hobby Lobby. These were actually pumpkin picks and I just removed the little pick part. So I just added three of these into the top of the stand and then I also have this little hot chocolate sign here which I bought a few years ago on Etsy. And then I just added that in front of the pumpkins. So that is what it looks like. I think the little pumpkins look so cute in there and I just like the way the white looks with the rustic wood. 
So this is how it looks with all of my decor in there. I think it looks really good. And a lot of times, you guys, when I show this stuff, I'll play around with it so many times before I finally get it right. But it's just faster to show you guys what the end outcome is because otherwise it would take so long. But basically, that's what I do when I'm decorating. I'll just kind of play around with things and I'll try probably 20 different things until I find something that works. And then I also broke out my Hocus Pocus mug. I think I might make myself a cup of tea in a little while. That is one of my favorite mugs. Also, you guys, I picked up these adorable canisters the other day from Home Goods. How cute are these? So I love the little heart lids. So I ended up getting this one that says coffee. And then I also grabbed this one that says sugar. I just thought these were the cutest things ever. The sugar one was only $5.99 and then the coffee one was $7.99. So I just stuck my canisters back here in the corner and then I stuck this little orange pumpkin in front of them. And then I think inside of the coffee canister I am going to put my little sweetie pie pumpkin pie K-cups in there. These things are so good. If you guys like pumpkin pie, these things are amazing. I found these at TJ Maxx. So this is what they look like. They are so adorable. I pretty much love all things pumpkin, you guys. So that is what they look like in the little canister. So I think that'll just be perfect for them to go in there. And then I also decided to add this wood slab here. So I just set my canisters on top of it. I just think it gives a nice kind of a rustic look to it. And then again, I stuck my pumpkin on there. And I think this pumpkin I bought in a set a few years ago from Target. So that is what the canisters look like on there. I think they look really good. I kind of wish the slab was a little bit bigger, but it'll just have to work for right now. And then moving on, I have this colorful leaf garland here. I found this the other day at Walmart. I thought this was super pretty. And this was only $2.98. So I'm going to attempt to hang this up behind my Keurig and see what it looks like. All right, guys, I have the garland hung up and I knew the second I saw it that I just didn't like it. It just looked a little bit too cluttered for me. So I decided to take it down and just kind of leave it like this. I decided I kind of just like a little bit more of a simple look. And right now, you guys, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from decorating. I need to run to Menards. I'm going to go pick up some mums. I want to grab some mums for my porch and a few for in the house. So maybe I will bring you guys with me. Hi hey guys, we are at Menards right now and look how cute all of their little pumpkins are. They also have a bunch over on this side. They have a bunch of the white ones. So I am here to buy some mums. All right guys, so far I got a couple of orange mums. I think I'm also going to look for a couple of yellow ones. I want some to go on my porch. And look how gorgeous all of these pumpkins are. I love this one right here, these heirloom type pumpkins. And Bill and I actually saw these the other day at this cute little farm stand and I did buy a few. I think at that farm stand they were $2.99, but here they are $8, which is kind of crazy. All right guys, I had to upgrade to a bigger cart because that cart would not hold all of my mums. So I had to get this giant one here. So I did find this nice giant huge yellow mum. I'm gonna get a pink one and a couple orange ones. And I think that is going to be it for now. I'm still debating about a couple of those pumpkins, but $8 seems high for one when we just bought some at that farm stand for only $2.99. So I think I might just wait and go back to the farm stand this weekend. A few moments later. All right, you guys, I caved and I decided I am buying this pumpkin because I just love this one and it has really good shape to it. And I looked in my purse and I have a rebate for like $15. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this guy because it looks so good. So I totally caved on that one. All right, now we are out of here for real. Hi guys, I just got home from Menards and I'm getting ready to get my mums out of the trunk. Look how gorgeous all of these mums are. I always love mums so much in the fall. Also, I did end up finding this ginormous pink one as we were walking to the checkout. They had a stand full of a bunch more mums and this pink one was way bigger than the other one I had. So I switched that one out to this one. I'm also so happy that I did end up getting this pumpkin because I love it so much. So I think I am going to unload these babies out of the trunk and then I'm going to go back in and finish doing some more fall decorating. All right guys, back to decorating. So moving on to this spot in my kitchen, I think I wanna switch out my hot cocoa sign to something more fallish. So I decided to put this chalkboard here. This is Farm Fresh Pumpkins. This is just a little cheapy chalkboard that we picked up from Hobby Lobby. And then I also wanted to add a mum over here. So here is one of my gorgeous orange mums that I just picked up from Menards. I think that the orange is so pretty and it just gives a nice pop of color. And then I wanted something to put my mum in. So I found this cute little white basket here at the greenhouse for only $5. So that is how the mum looks in the basket. I think it looks so good. 
And then I also decided to add this little white pumpkin as well onto the countertop. But I didn't want too much white, so I decided to stick this wood cutting board in just to give it a little bit of a wood element. All right guys, so this is what it looks like. I think it looks so cute and I love the Farm Fresh Pumpkins chalkboard. Bill was actually nice enough to write that on the chalkboard for me because fun fact, I have absolutely horrible handwriting, you guys. So I usually get him to write on my chalkboards. He has pretty good handwriting and I love the little pumpkin he drew. And this chalkboard was just a really cheapy one that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I think it was $7, I wanna say. I'll insert a clip here so you guys can see. This is what it looked like before. I just kind of have it propped up against this ornamental grass just to show you guys what it looked like. So this is what the chalkboard looked like before. I did end up staining this. It was just a little cheapy chalkboard from Hobby Lobby. I think it was only $7.99. Here's a clip that I took so you guys could kind of see what it looked like before. So it was $7.99 and then it was on sale for I think 40% off. So I got this for around $5 which I thought was a super good deal. And also you guys, how gorgeous is this new ornamental grass we just picked up the other day at the greenhouse. Look how pretty the purple plumes on this are. My mom and I actually both ended up getting some of these and we just thought that these were so pretty. I always love the ornamental grasses, especially in the fall when they get all of their gorgeous plumes on them. I just can't get over how pretty the purple plumes on this grass are. I love them so much. And then also to make my chalkboard look a little bit nicer, I did stain the frame with this Minwax Special Walnut Stain. This is one of my favorite shades of stain right here. So that is how the chalkboard came out and I think it looks so nice, especially for only around $5. I am loving the orange mum in the kitchen. I just think it gives it a nice pop of color because I have so much white going on in my kitchen. So I think that this orange color is just so Gorgeous. The orange and the yellow mums are probably my favorite color of mums that they have. I think this one is so pretty. And then I'm also loving this basket right here. I still can't believe I found this at the greenhouse and it was only $5. I love the little galvanized part on there that says flowers and then the wicker. It just looks so nice. Next, moving on to this gorgeous little white pumpkin here. So I found this at Walmart a couple of days ago and I just love the shape of it. And I also thought the stem had a really nice realistic look to it. So I decided to grab this guy. And this pumpkin was actually orange when I bought it. I will insert a clip here so you guys can see what it looked like before. So we just decided to spray paint it white. This is what the pumpkin looked like before. It was kind of a two-toned orange. And like I said, when I saw this pumpkin, I just loved the shape of it. And I also love that the stem just had a nice realistic look to it. So this pumpkin was $5.98 from Walmart. And then Bill just ended up giving it a couple coats of this Rust-Oleum Chalked Linen White Spray Paint. This is one of my favorite white spray paints to use. And then my husband was nice enough to spray paint it for me because I was trying to film as he was spray painting. So I think this thing ended up taking around six coats of paint because basically you just wanna do really light even coats of paint because you don't want to get it on too thick you don't want the paint to run and it does take a little bit for the white to cover up the orange and i also removed the stem when we painted it because it just pulled out so i figured it was easier to do that than try to tape it off one eternity later so here's what it looks like when it's finished i think this came out so nice and like i said i love the wood cutting board just to kind of break things up so everything isn't so white I am very happy with the way this little corner came out in my kitchen. I just think it looks so cute. Another thing I like to do is switch out my soap in my kitchen to a fall soap. So right now I have this sweet orange. So into my closet I go. I have all of my Bath & Body Works soaps in here. I have so many Bath & Body Works soaps, you guys. But seriously, they are the best soaps ever. So I decided to switch my soap out to this one. This one is the Autumn Sunshine. This one smells so amazing, you guys. And I also love the yellow packaging. I thought it would give a nice little pop of color over here on my sink. Another thing I like to do to add a pop of color in my kitchen is to put a nice, pretty fall dish towel out on my stove. So here are all of my dish towels here. Well, actually, I'm lying. I have another drawer with dish towels. I kind of have a little dish towel obsession. So I think I am going to put this one out here. I just think this one will give a nice pop of color. So that is what it looks like on my stove. Like I said, I just think it's an easy way just to add a little pop of color in your kitchen. I also wanted to quickly show you guys, I was at Dollar General the other day and I picked up some of these amazing fall paper towels. They always get these out in the fall and I always buy them because I'm obsessed with fall so I definitely needed some fall paper towels. 
So you get six rolls of these and they are only $5. And you guys, these are actually amazing quality of paper towels. So I definitely love these. I think they might also even have ones with sunflowers on them sometimes in the fall because I know my mom likes to buy those ones. And speaking of my mom, she is so sweet. She picked me up some of these fall dish towels the other day. She was in Dollar General and she thought I would like them, so she surprised me with these. So this is what they look like. So the one has the little pumpkins, and then this one over here has this cute little red barn. And of course, you guys, it has my all-time favorite, the cute little red truck. If you guys watch my videos, then you probably know that I'm always obsessed with these cute little red trucks. I am in love with both of these dish towels. That was so sweet of her to get these for me. So here is a better look at the paper towel. I think this paper towel is so pretty and I find it funny that I'm so excited over fall paper towel, but honestly, you guys, it's just the little things that make me so happy. I have them over here right by my coffee station where it is very convenient. So I just have a couple of little racks here. So I hung up my paper towel. And of course I decided to display the towel with the little truck on it just because I love this one so much. Thank you, mom. I also have a rug that I bought that I want to put in front of the kitchen sink. I actually bought this rug a few months ago at Target. When I saw this, I knew right away that it would be perfect for fall. And this was actually on clearance. I think it was around $8. So I've been holding on to this rug since I think it was the beginning of summer. I think it looks so good, you guys. There's Madison over there laying down next to my rug. Oh, and of course she has to check out the rug and see. And I think she approves, you guys. I think she loves the rug. She's so funny because whenever I get something new, she always has to be the first out of all of the dogs to check it out. She always has to give it a sniff or a lick, and I think this is Madison approved, you guys. Here is a little bit of a close-up of the rug. I think this rug is so gorgeous. I love the fringe on the end, and it's just so brightly colored and pretty. All right, guys, I think she definitely loves this rug because now she has turned it into her own personal bed. All right, moving on to the countertop over here. So I did add some apples to the countertop in this cute little basket. I found this basket a few months ago at Target, and this one reminds me so much of the ones that I have in my pantry from Ikea. I just love this style of basket. And then in the basket, we have some Honeycrisp apples. These are our favorite apples to get in the fall. We got these from the farm stand the other day, and then the green ones, I have no idea what flavor those are. In the fall, Bill and I love going and getting fresh apples from the farm stand. They taste so good, you guys. Bill and I also love dipping our apples in this caramel dip right here. Oh my gosh, you guys, this stuff is so amazing. We don't eat this all the time, just kind of for a special treat, but once you try this, it is so good. So if you guys have never tried this stuff, you definitely need to try it. You can pick this stuff up from Walmart or Meyer, and it's usually over in the produce section somewhere near the apples. And then over here on my backsplash, I hung up this sign that says pumpkin pie. I found this in the dollar spot at Target the other day. I just thought this was really cute. So it has the recipe for pumpkin pie. And I knew I had to get this because pumpkin pie is one of my favorites. I think I might actually have to make a pumpkin pie this weekend because Bill and I were both talking about how hungry we were for pumpkin pie after I bought this sign. This sign is just tempting us to want pie. All right, guys, and the last of my fall decor that I have in my kitchen is this ceramic pumpkin here. I bought this a few years ago from Walmart, and I think this is actually called a soup tureen. It actually came with a big spoon, and there is a small hole in the back where the spoon can kind of stick through. But I just like to use mine for decoration. I think that this looks really nice, and I believe this is by the brand Better Homes and Gardens. All right guys, so that is going to be it for my kitchen decor. I love the way everything came out in here and I just love having my kitchen decorated because I spend so much time in my kitchen so I just like to make it feel warm and cozy. Two hours later. So I'm just sitting here cooking dinner. I am making chili tonight because it's starting to get a little cooler and I just thought chili has been sounding so good. And my husband comes home from work and surprises me with these, you guys. I am so <laughs> excited right now and I've already dug into the bowls. I had to take off the packaging and open them up so I could look at them. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am at this very moment. My husband is seriously the best. So first of all, this is so funny right here. My sister had sent me a picture of this, I think about a week ago. I think she saw it at Home Goods, and she had messaged me and asked if I wanted it, and I told her I didn't. And then later, I regretted it. So I am super happy that he got this one for me. 
And then these bowls, I have been hunting for these ever since they came out, and I actually haven't seen a single Halloween Ray Dunn item in store, so super excited for these. So I'll show you guys what the bowls look like, and these are the plastic ones. So this one says spooky, happy haunting, and boo, these are so cute. These are even cuter in person than I thought they would be. I seriously, seriously love my husband so much. He is so amazing. This just literally made my day, you guys. And I think I just heard him come in. I was just showing the stuff that you found for me. Yeah. Thank you so much. I am so excited. You're the best. He's the best, you guys. Do you know you're the best? I'm the best. <laughs> you're so funny. I am so happy. It was a lucky find. This is happiness right here, you guys. You are so amazing. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Madison's running around the island. She's all excited. She gets so excited when Bill gets home from work. So I think I'll probably keep this one sitting out on the countertop and I'll probably store the dog's treats in. The dogs are probably going to be happy for this too because now I'll probably run out and buy them some adorable little Halloween treats to go in their happy Halloween canister. <laughs> this is so cute. I also saw a picture on Instagram where somebody had this turned around and then they put a decal on the other side and I also thought that was very cute as well. This is what they look like when they are stacked. I seriously love them like this so much. These look so adorable. Madison is still running around the island. Moving on to my living room, I already do have most of my fall decor up in here, but I thought I would just kind of show you guys what I have. So I did hang up my little pumpkin garland on my TV stand. I bought this a few years ago at Home Goods, And I'm of course watching the movie Halloween Town. I love either watching this or Hocus Pocus when I'm doing any sort of decorating. It just really puts me in the mood for fall decorating. This grapevine pumpkin right here is one of my favorite fall decor items. I bought this last year from Michael's, so I think I am going to take this and I'm going to stick it right over there on that little trunk. I think it'll look really cute lit up on there. This is what it looks like, guys. I think it looks so pretty. Like I said, this is one of my favorite fall decor items, and it's also really nice to put it right here on this trunk because there is an outlet right here to the left of the trunk, so it definitely just makes it a lot easier when you place it somewhere where there's an outlet so you don't have to run an extension cord. All right, guys, moving on to my coffee table. I usually like to keep this somewhat simple, so when we're sitting out here and we have snacks and things like that, my decorations aren't taking up the whole coffee table, so usually I just like to put this gorgeous candle holder here on the coffee table. I bought this last year at Home Goods, and I believe this was only around $6. I remember it was super cheap. I just think that this looks so pretty when it is lit up. It just makes the room feel so warm and cozy. I am so happy that I bought this candle holder. And currently inside of it, I am burning one of my favorite fall candles from Bath & Body Works, which is the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I love that scent so much. Another thing I always like adding in my living room on my coffee table is a mum. I just feel like it gives a nice pop of color. So I decided to go with this pink one here. It is just so bright and pretty. I love this one so much. And like I said, it just kind of pops sitting here on the coffee table. Moving on to my couch, this is what it looks like. I already have all of my fall pillows on here. So if you guys remember a few weeks ago, I did a vlog and I showed some of these new plaid pillows that I recently picked up from Kirkland's. So I have those and then I also have these pumpkin ones. I also purchased these from Kirkland's, but I think it was last year or the year before. I think these little pumpkin pillows are so cute. So it just has this sweater material and then it says hello fall on them. I just love these little pillows so much. And I think they also might sell these again this year. I think I may have seen them on their website. And then I have this gorgeous orange pumpkin pillow here. This one is from Pottery Barn. I just think it gives a nice pop of color on the couch. And then over here on the other side, I just have the same three pillows just to kind of balance things out. By my couch is this white sofa table and I'm kind of still in the process of decorating this because I don't always show you guys, but I usually try out so many things when I'm decorating and I am not loving these white pumpkins on the bottom. So I think I'm gonna switch these out to something else. All right guys, so I switched out the bottom. I added this little crate filled with some different colored pumpkins. And then I also added this white pumpkin, which I bought from Meyer the other day. And honestly, I still wasn't feeling it. So I did end up switching it out one more time. And I think this is how it is going to stay. I think I am loving this setup much better. So honestly, you guys, that's what I do when I'm decorating. I'll just keep switching things out until I find something that works. 
So first of all, I have this gorgeous sparkly pumpkin here. I bought this a few years ago from Target. This is another one of my favorite fall decorations, and this kind of reminds me of the candle holder. It just gives the room a nice, warm, cozy glow. And then this, I kind of just threw this together. So I used the glass topper off from my Pioneer Woman cake stand. And then I also had another one of those wood slabs that I showed you guys earlier that I used in my coffee station. And then I just stuck some of these real pumpkins in here that I picked up from Walmart. I think you get five or six of them in there for two or three dollars. And I just think it gives the table a nice pop of color. I like adding in some orange. Moving on to the bottom, I have this little crate here. I found this, I think, last year at Home Goods, and I absolutely love this little crate. I just think it looks so nice. And then inside of this, I added some of these different white pumpkins. I'm pretty sure all of these pumpkins are from Hobby Lobby. And these are actually the ones that you find that have the little sticks or the little picks in them. I just removed the picks and then stuck them in there. And I think they look really nice with the white and the wood. And then I also have this big old stick pumpkin over here. So my mom and I went to Pier 1 Imports the other day. And we spotted this and I immediately fell in love with it just because it is so different and I just love the rustic element that it has. Moving on to my entryway, I have this chest of drawers here and I like to kind of keep this simple. I don't like to have too much clutter sitting on here. So I just added a few fall decor items. So I have this little baby grapevine pumpkin here. This is the baby one to the other one that I showed you guys on the trunk earlier. Like I said, I just love these little grapevine pumpkins. I think these are so cute and they are just so sparkly and pretty. They look cute even when they're not lit up but when they are lit, they just look so amazing. And then over here, I have this gorgeous candle holder that I found from the Dollar Tree, you guys. I was super excited when I found these. I just think that these are so gorgeous. And I actually ended up picking up three of them because I love them so much. And I just feel like these give the room such a nice warm and cozy glow. I think these are so pretty. I also wanted to share with you guys a quick Bath & Body Works haul. My mom and I went shopping at Bath & Body Works the other day and they have some amazing stuff right now. I can't wait to show you guys. I also did a little bit of vlogging so you guys could see some of the stuff that they have. I will put that footage in after I share with you guys what I picked up. I seriously love Bath & Body Works so much and when I went to the store, you guys, they were having a sale on their body care, so they were buy three, get three free, and then I also had a coupon for 20% off everything. So I think these shower gels and lotions were normally $12.50 and then with all of the discounts, they ended up working out to be only $5, which is amazing, so I decided I would just kind of stock up. All right, guys, starting out with shower gel, I ended up getting four of them, and it has been so long since I bought any shower gel, so I thought I would kind of stock up a little bit. So first of all, I ended up getting two of these new ones here. I ended up getting a pumpkin picking because I always love the pumpkin scents. And then I ended up getting Autumn Nights. And by the way, how cute is the packaging on these new shower gels? And then I ended up getting this one that is crisp orchard leaves. And again, the packaging on this one just got me. I always love the fall packaging. And then I ended up getting one of my favorites, Sweet Pea. I decided to grab this one while they still had it because a lot of times, for some reason, my store does not have the Sweet Pea lotion or shower gel. I have no idea why, so... I decided to grab that one. Next, I picked up two lotions. So first of all, I picked up the Sugared Cranberry Cider. This one smells so good. And again, the packaging, same as on this one. When I saw the packaging on this one, I knew I had to get it. And thank goodness, this is the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. This is one of my favorite scents for fall that Bath & Body Works has. So this one has the cute little truck. There's some pumpkins in the back, and then it has a bunch of fall leaves. And lastly, I ended up picking up a couple of Halloween items. I had actually saw both of these online and that is kind of why I went into the store looking for them. This soap holder right here was actually sold out online. So I was so excited to find this when I asked the girl that was working if they had any. She said they had just one left. So I was super excited that I was able to get this one. I love how sparkly this one is. And then it has the creepy little spider. It's actually funny because I'm terrified of spiders. And sometimes I will see a spider on something that I have that's fake and it scares me because I think it's real. And then I also ended up getting this wallflower plug right here. So it's just a haunted house. 
has a little pumpkin and a spooky tree. Oh, I just realized, I didn't even realize when I bought this that it has a little owl in the tree. And then up here, there's a witch and a bat and then some more sparkly goodness. So that is everything that I picked up from Bath and Body Works. I'm going to go ahead and insert the footage now so you guys can see all of the amazing stuff that they have in the store. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this video. Definitely watch out for more fall videos. I plan on doing a video showing how I decorated my porch for fall as well as a fall and Halloween decor haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you in my next video.